like, I'll see you there. Like, he's here, man. He's here to play. So. Uh, hey, appreciate you being here. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we get into this action with both individuals starting out uh, on the road to perfection, both starting out with strikes, uh, tell us a little bit about um, who you are and your importance, not only to um, the bowling world, the Storm brand. Tell us more about I, your role with Storm. I guess I'm uh, part of the old school crew, right? Like, um, so I've been at Storm now for 23 years. Uh, I started as a tour rep uh, for Storm. You know, and that back in the day, I was doing the men's tour, ladies' tour, senior tour. Yes. Um, and then about 2011, actually, I moved to Utah in 2010. Mm. Uh, about 2011, 2012, they're like, hey, what do you think about running the Rotogrip brand? I said, hey, okay. And uh, God rest his soul, Bill Christman, you know, the, my nickname, the, the tagline that, or the, my handle I got now, Roto Schlem. Yes. Bill had, was walking through the office one day and was introducing people, and they're like, hey, and this is Schlem. He's like, well, he's Roto Schlem. And I looked uh -huh. at him, I'm like, I never heard that one before in my life. But when the owner of the company calls you that, I'm like, well, I guess that's the thing. Yeah, so here I am, how many years later, and I'm Roto Schlem, and yeah, I create all the Roto Grip stuff, you know, as most of you know, if you follow anything, uh, bowling balls, bags, you know, designing, you know, I name the balls and the colors and the, the logos and, you know, make, make the reactions that I want to see. And then in the process is helping not only bowlers of all skill sets mm -hmm. and being a part of like UBA and all that stuff, but, you know, also go all the way to the tour guys, you know, helping the guys and girls, you know, at the tour levels, right? So, yeah, it's kind of what I do. Hey, that's what you do, and we appreciate all that you do. And you know what? You were called into action. And speaking of calling action, yeah, yeah. we're going to take a look at this action right here with Berzinski as well as Simonson starting out with a double and a nine. And speaking of nine, I'm going to pass it over to my left to this man. Yo, yo, yo. So anyway, Rotoslam, I just got a message from your buddy Gary. Yeah. When, when Matthew left the seven pin, he said the message is game over. Oh, game one's could, over. It, let's it, go to game it, two. It could be. Yeah, I don't know. Is that what? That's that? Uh-oh, he's better make that yeah, one. He, he does. got that one, yeah. Because he threw some extra spare shots because he missed a couple in practice. But, you know, it's a matter of, uh, you know, Simon just watching his ball and doing the right things. And, yeah, this is going to be a fun time. That's all. We're going to have some chirping. It's going to get loud, I'm sure. You know, because Dougie was already down here tripping. That's, Dougie oh, wait, being wait, Dougie. Wait, wait. I, got, I, I got something for you to pick out, Gallery. Ray says, I heard that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I, I heard you, that. You know me. I don't mince words. Uh, so, so uh, oh, well, in I have case one of you was watching right there, Simon missed and still struck. I don't know if you guys saw that. It's a little bit, <laughs> a little right, bit high. Like sure. A little bit high. Didn't matter. So, uh, Gordon, is this your playlist this morning? Is this uh, this is your beats we're dropping right now? I, it's my beats. I don't know. It, it could be Matt's beats. Right now, it's not working. He just okay. skipped a beat. He missed All the right. seven fifth. All right. So, Sean Dye, right now, I've got Rotoshum saying this one is over, it's in the bag. As you're representing in the north, what exactly do you think is going on here, even though now that's four in a row for Simo? And, he, I, and for those who love him, that's a hand bone, right? Well, it, it, it's my man, Rob Stone. Like, Shout out like to Rob Stone. Product. Wherever you're at doing Olympics or soccer or whatever, hand, <laughs> hand bone. We got we got a hand bone here in the UBA. Yeah, yeah, but definitely. Well, you know what? Well, we have we have meat shank because you know it's probably right. so copyright meat infringement. Shank. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, one thing about Brzezinski, and I'm very familiar with um, right. Matthew Brzezinski. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a tough lefty. Yeah, he's he throws cold. it good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he throws it very well. Um, he's one goat for a reason. Um, some say that's all it's worth, but for all it's worth, he's throwing um, greatest of all shots. And unfortunately, he did not take out the seventh pin before. All you need is chance. Whenever Absolutely. there's a chance, there's a way. And if you find a way, sometimes you'll make your way. Simo is on front four. He's on the road to perfection. Um, Brzezinski on the road to 279. We all know 300 turns to 279 real quick, depending exactly. on where you throw it. And yeah, where you miss that. I mean, it's this game's far from over. Yeah, I yeah. Be real, do four frames, man. Exactly. And you know what? As long as you have a puncher's chance, a puncher can land. We all saw what Rocky did against Apollo in the first one. It, it went, it went to a decision. Second round, he found a way. Can Rocky channel his oh. inner Balboa and find a way? And it's just the same way that eight pin found a way to stone out. Yeah, I mean, that was a deal of, it was a, wasn't a bad pitch, but that ball steamrolled to nine. Yeah. And all of a sudden, yeah, my man's already missed twice now in three frames. I, I don't like his chances at this point, but uh -huh. my question being is, how do you get one goat? Is there like a field of goats? 
Or is there like, is there two goats somewhere in here at UBA? Well, or we just got one goat? Well, you know what? Hey, sometimes, you know, you got to sell a goat to buy a farm. And, Facts. and, yeah. see, and right now, um, if you're betting, hopefully you're not betting the farm, but if you're betting part of the farm, I would bet part of that farm on Brzezinski to find a way to co to still compete and hang around, as they say. Oh, yeah. He's going to be looking to, maybe looking to buy some pigs and make some bacon here a little bit, too. Hey, you know what? Hey, go. chop a little bacon off the back and see what happens with the Let's fat see. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Hey, you know, you got the North Carolina play that's in the background, but Simon will rest that big, that big state. Oh, yeah. Let's see what homeboy's got. Simon looking dangerously comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I mean, it's the deal of, and I'll give you guys this little insight on Simon, right? Like, I've known the kid since he was little, right? Uh -huh. It's one of those deals of, you see the look in his head, he's comfortable, but... As he's walking back, throwing shots, so you pay attention. Yes. His brain's working overtime right now, yes. right? Yes. You can. He's already. He's already looking at like frames nine and ten. Yes. It, it's kind of like, it, it, I guess, the comparison to like billiards, right? Mm -hmm. He's already shots ahead. He's watching what's happening, but he's already now forward thinking, going, my ball's doing this, so I'm gonna have to do this with my hand. Yeah. I have to make this move. Got to do this. Got to do that. Indeed. A lot of bowlers don't do that. You know. It, exactly. And you compared it to billiards, yeah. and I like to compare it to chess, where yeah, chess is a game thing. where it's yeah, not, yeah. you're not focused on the move, but um, how your move leads to your next three moves. Facts. Um, having exactly. that, we talked about sight. We talked about um, insight, foresight, hindsight. Yep. In hindsight, you know what you did last shot. Uh -oh. You have insight of what's happening right here. Oh. And you know what? That was an insight right there. Um, he missed a little bit, but he had a little loan forgiveness. Yeah, it was a little, he got a little steep in the line, and that's why he kind of popped up. You know, it wasn't, I don't think it was that he stuck. I think he just got a little, little fast, a little steep. But again, Playing the right, playing the right part of the lane, doing the right thing. Uh -huh. He's got him. He's giving himself a chance to strike every shot, right? Exactly. And that's what you need when you're in one of these deals. Like, and and for those watching at home, and you're looking at the match next to us. I mean, they've only got two strikes and six shots over there. Yes. These guys have only missed twice through, you know, 12 shots. Exactly. You know? Twice and 12 shots. Yeah, it's, it's totally, it's totally different ball game over here. Indeed. Indeed. But it was right next door. It was right <laughs> next door. Right. So, Schlem, if Gary said it was over after the one nine spare yeah. in the third frame, now you got a nine spare strike, nine spare. The best that Matt can do at this point, if my math is correct, is a 259. That means Simo's going to beat him, oh, by 41 pence. Yeah. Hypothetically, but I, I mean, any, I mean, he could, you know, there's anything can happen. We're still, I mean, he's got to get through the, basically the next two frames. Well, there's, uh, let's now, instead of the next four frames, the next three frames. Next get, five yeah, shots. Yeah, will probably get through the next one. It'll be all right. Yeah, well, if he goes the next one, that means that Mr. Brzezinski is going to need some extra frames. Uh -huh. I don't know. You guys have that here? UBA got the endless 10 frame? Yeah, I remember the endless 10 frame. I remember, if you know, the uh, with MTV, they had the uh, golden hoop for NBA Rock and Jock at the 25-point yeah, yeah. shot. Maybe if all strikes are with 25 instead of 10, maybe that will help, like 150 points, 10 frame. The Benzos. There you go, see? Oh, Knew there's that a chance. Be always, always in there. Sean Dyke, so you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. And you know, and um, one thing I like to allude to, uh, when you're watching a game like this, it is a game of skill as well as it is a game of chance. Absolutely. And, you know, there's, um, both individual skill got them to the stages um, that they're in. So let's just say the taps keep happening. Let's just say Brzezinski strikes. He's got a shot. The exactly. One thing, the, the That's one, what I'm saying. It's yeah. not over yet. It, it's never over Even this until game. it's over. I mean, yeah, Simo hasn't missed a pocket yet, but it potentially could be of maybe he gets up and he yips the next one. Who knows? You never we don't know. know until we get there, right? Exactly. And, you know, where there's oil to play with, uh, players shall play, and true gamers will game. And, and, if, you, and if you find the oil and, and roll in the oil oh, or miss the little, oil. That's going to be a little bit tougher. That could be tough. Uh, I, it's like what I, what I like to call a makeable yet high, highly likely missable. Yeah, but you know, and I think it's the other thing you brought up, you and I, before we went on the air, though, is the fact that we've got a righty, righty versus lefty, right? Yes. So the transitions are their own. Yeah. So it's a matter of who figures out their own transition the best. It, yeah. It's not necessarily faster because whatever, you know, they create their own madness, as I like to say. You know, yeah. with, yeah, you got your side of the lane to yourself. Now, yes. it's not to say. I mean, anybody knows and, and knows who Simo is, a man can throw a left-handed backup ball. I mean, he could jump to that side of the lane if he really wanted to be that guy. I think we but might he, have witnessed that maybe he, once or twice. He, yeah, he ain't going <laughs> to be that guy, but you know what I'm saying? Like, he could hypothetically now it'd be one of those deals if 
he feels like he gets to a spot on the right side that's out of play, mm -hmm. he might jump over there okay. because he has that ability, right? Yes, yes. So he it's just it's just another another tool in a tool. Wow. Man, I talk about breaks and not getting them, right? I mean, it's, again, my man ain't bullet back game. Exactly. It's just, you know, unfortunate hits here and there. And, you know, I think now it's probably one of those deals of you got to think that, and I don't know his background. I don't know what kind of action he's bowled. I know mm -hmm. he bowled UBA, but I don't know if he's, you know, does, what does he look at when he's bowling Simo, right? Is he like, man, I see this guy on TV and now I'm bowling him head up? It's like, is it in his head a little bit? Or he's like, I mean, he looks like he's pretty calm and got figure it figured out. Yep. You know, they're, they're giving each other five and a whole deal. They're chill. It's cool. No, no, it's, it's, it's all you love. Know, and I think it's, uh, yeah, exactly. And that's what UBA is about, man. It's a big family. Lots of love across, you know, across this building, man. From north, south, east, west. It's it's the whole deal, right? Exactly. And, yeah. you know, Simon's going to, you know, there oh! you go. Oh. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, anything's possible, right? <laughs> And you know, I gotta say, both Thugs and Harmony said it's for the love of money. This is for the love of bowling. Either way, you know, Simon's having a great time. Absolutely. And Brzezinski, in many ways, he's won in many ways. Oh, he absolutely. has this opportunity that most people, uh, they watch this guy on, on certain um, platforms and certain networks yeah, yeah. Uh, compete, and yep. he gets to compete against him. Right. And, and Simon's gonna have fun with it, man. And he's just gonna roll with it. And you know, even though we got other guys back here chirping, well, <laughs> Simon's gonna be involved more with those guys than what's yeah. happening up here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right now, that's what it sort of looks like. Yeah, you hear somebody saying, hold up. That's sort of the equivalent of locking the barn door after the horses have eaten the children. It's a uh -huh. little bit too little too late at right. this point. Right now, you got a bunch of mutilated so, bodies in the barn. And I guess, I, forgive me for not knowing, what do we got going on here? Is this like best of five, best of seven, best, best of 12? Best of seven. What do we, at best of seven. Right now, the way both bowlers are bowling, it could be a best of 12, and that may not yeah. matter. But you have a couple of tempins, so there's a little bit of hope for Matthew Brzezinski, but we will be seeing that hope in game two and not in game one. Right. All right. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the first the first few games, I mean, unless it ends up being a complete head start where it's 3-0 one way, it could go back and forth. And again, my man is not. It could. You know, he hasn't missed the pocket like except for the one shot he kind of yipped up on like this this is far from over well, i mean matt matt at the beginning definitely looks like he had a good shot he started experimenting a little bit he got caught let's see he's got a frame to start figuring some more stuff out that that all being said very good representation from mr simonson who pretty much all weekend has been representing himself very very well in this house and in the other house i believe he shot what an 880 series um yesterday so he's good he is good matthew Brzezinski, one goat he may need the whole barn one goat may not be enough yeah well he's trying to get to that farm man Trying to get to the farm. You, you right now, he needs to lock the barn door. You, you can't get a farm unless you got one animal. My man's got one goat. Hey, you, go. you know, next you're going to need a pig, you need a cow, you know. Uh, he, he's you got, got sheep. You can get he, it all in there, yo. Absolutely. You know what you do with a Chickens. goat? Hey, if you got a goat, sometimes you got to milk it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you milk the goat, you make the cheese. And there, right now, he has a, a lot of opportunity for a little bit of cheese making if he finds a way. And, you know, it is a marathon. It is not a sprint. You know, one game is basically what we call the filling out process. Oh, you know, sure. test a couple jabs before you um, land a big shot. Um, right now, Simon's throwing big shots. 257 is reminiscent of his jabs. Big punches jab harder. But you know what? Jabbers can still jab and punchers can still punch. Yeah, and even in the fill ball there, Simon already made an adjustment. So we'll yes. see how that comes into play for this next game. And, you know, he knows what his look is. Like I said, he knows his hand tilts and you know ball speed and lofts and that's going to be his deal mm -hmm. where matt's going to probably have to be he's already kind of moving around changed a couple walls kind of doing some things right. so again we'll see how the uh the transition plays out you know well you know what and this makes me crazy to say you know um we already know um simonson is um used to making adjustments in all situations rain sleet snow he's always built to go facts well when it comes to um simonson one goat himself Maybe you need one. Maybe you need one line, and maybe you need to streamline, because both people have um, their lines to themselves. Right. You, um, they always say, um, and there's a saying, um, "Play for the strike, hope for the carry." And a lot of times, you have to just hope that your ball will make good decisions. A lot of times, you fish for a strike. You fish for a fish. You may find a boot. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Yeah, we'll see uh, Matt, you know, obviously he was kind of feeling out there in a the 10th, and yeah, we'll see what kind of, what movies made. It looks like he went a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit more firm, uh -huh. a little bit more direct a little bit. And 
Yeah. He got around that a little bit more. And you mentioned the firmness right there. Right. He, he, he softened that, right? up yeah. to try to fish for that strike. Yep. He's got one go. Right now, there's two sheep up there. Oh. <laughs> Bob, Bob, black sheep. Oh, man. Come on now. He's got one, one goat, no wins. Yeah, do you have any wool? <laughs> yeah, where's that wool at? <laughs> Pulling it over the eyes. R Rudy Parker is still looking at me. Uh, uh, Rudy, made, made you, you can hear everything. Right now, the problem is what you're seeing. One and a bounce. Oh, oh, oh almost got it with the ball. Almost got it with the ball. Holy cow. That would have counted. That would have counted, yeah. That damn sure would have counted. And you know what? For what it's worth, the best thing that could happen is that it happened in the first frame. Facts. Because now you can go sheep for 279. Exactly. And 79 is still dangerous. 300, again, like, maybe more than that. Right. But now here's the thing. But provided he goes back 11, and let's just say after the next one or two, that Simonson more than likely will throw. That tap, that, that little Gregory Hines uh -oh. jumps in there. Uh oh. Another but one. then again, when you're trying to um, I'm trying to help it up the hill. Yeah, yeah. Over, over he there. Got to. And, and and let's just see if he's gonna um, well, take the prophylactic off, and let's see if he's gonna make the baby. <laughs> <laughs> So basically in the peanut gallery here because we, we're, we're watching the match and not the uh, people in the back. My man's up here making babies. I don't know what we got going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got somebody saying, what are you doing? You have Aaron Trimlett in the back with one of those mini Thanos gloves. And, and Anthony, right, right now, Matt's wishing that his spare attempts can disappear. And more importantly, Simon can disappear because he's got as many opens as Simon has spares so far in this match. Yeah. But again, it's early, and obviously he's got, it's now a feel thing, right? He comes back off the approach, and he's like, hey, I need some, like, finger tape or something. Yeah. So now he's got uh, somebody running to grab some finger tape for him. Simo making a little bit of an adjustment, and through the face, right? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, hey, so, hey. again, mm -hmm. this is far from over. Right? Yeah. And from a defensive standpoint, people like, oh, no defense in bowling. A lot of times, if you happen to start over two um, bad shots, it could be bad and good. It could be bad in the sense that, oh, no, I have an opportunity to get stretched out, which means basically 100 pence or more. Or you can cause your opponent to relax and then kind of like take their foot off the gas pedal. Um, so from a strategic and a mental standpoint, bad shots for you may be uh, unforced relaxation and unforced errors for your opponent who is already ahead. And that's what we call a chop. Yeah, and that's, and that's what you call a little bit sometimes, taking a shot to make a shot. And now now that he opened the door one time, he opened the door twice. Now going sheet would be much nicer than, than Naughty. True story. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, again, like we talked about, even though with starting to open open, he, if he figures out his fit, he's playing with some, playing with the finger holes, got the tape working. Yeah, my man goes sheet. Well, you know Simo's going to be thinking about it because now he's already thinking about what happened on 16. He's got to come back into it. Yeah, and, and here's the key right now. Matthew Brzezinski, for, for all intents and purposes, should be down by 42 pins at this point. Based on game one. Right now, based on game two, he's down 10. If there's any sort of... All about of, that tape. He's got a shot All about that the, tape. Any sort of way to wake up. Now's the time that he's going to wake up. And I'm going to say this right now. This frame is the most pivotal frame in this game, and I'm going to call it early. He's got to put something on Simonson. If he throws another open at this point, and I'll say what you said in the third frame game one, this one's over. <laughs> uh, well, never you say never, because trust me, I've seen the best in the world compete all over the world, right? I, I travel with the guys on tour, and I've seen stuff. And just when you guys think that they're in coast mode, can I remember one reminiscent one was the Kelly Kulik when she won the Tournament of Champions. She was not even in that match. And the best, the last six frames, it can flip on a dime. So anything's possible. And I, and I also want to make this point right here. Um, and, you know, I'm going to make a bold prediction. I feel like there is going to be a ninth and 10th frame rule off in game two. That uh, could happen. It's a bold prediction. You know, predictions That's can go wrong. That's a bold wrong. statement, Cotton, but I like how you think. Hey, listen, I've seen, I've seen stranger things happen. Absolutely. And, and, and you know what it is. When the weatherman's wrong one day, that, that forecast could point to another game. True story. True story. Yeah, uh, I think it's, I think it's a, I think the feel thing, but he yeah, obviously, again, you know, he's got the, that side of the lane to himself. Mm -hmm. The transition's happening. I think my man's uh, maybe getting caught in his own transition a little bit. Yeah. And now it's caught in his, in his own head a little bit. Yeah. But like you said, he's good. He's going to figure it out. Yeah. He's coming back. He's looking for a ball change. So, 
You know, Simo's now again, he's playing off of what happened the last time on this lane, and we'll see what, what adjustment he makes. You know, it's almost like going through a breakup. You go through three stages. Yep. Sad, mad, and effort. When you, a lot of times when you go with effort and you take too, so much effort out, a lot of times you'll be relaxed and you'll be amazed at what you can do when you're in autopilot. Right. I think Brzezinski needs to um, go switch to autopilot and let it fly. You're already here. You're already on the stage. Let your talent show. Don't yep. overthink it. Right. Yeah, Simon made a move there. One of his one of his tricks with getting a little more at the back of it, a little bit firmer, and obviously he checked up for a four pin, so he knows he's got to go. Probably going to be a zone move on that right lane, uh -huh. but you know he's he's just kind of pacing it and feeling it out because he's he's not feeling any pressure right now, right? Yes. He's it's kind of like like what you said. It's kind of like a feel it out and see how it's going kind of deal. And uh, and I wanted to segue and transition. Uh, uh, how poetic into transitions. So transitions on house yep. versus transitions on sport. Can you give us a little insight on that? Woo. Totally different, dog. Like it's a deal of house. I mean, when you when you plug in the variables, and I'll, you and I were talking before we started this deal, right? And you can see it. I don't know if you can see it at home. The head panel on lane 15 as opposed to 16. You can see some divots and undulations, and it's just kind of beat up, right? Yeah. And that's going to cause lane 15, especially on the right side, to transition really different than what Simon's seen on the on the right lane. And on a house pattern, because a lot of times you're a higher volume, right? You're like a six to one, eight to one, ten to one. Indeed. Meaning you've got dry to throw right to the right. Uh huh. Well, as that puddle starts to dissipate or break apart, they tend to get cliffs, right? And then when you get into more like a sport pattern like you're talking, yes. now we're talking three to one, two to one, they're a lot flatter. So they tend to hook more in the middle part of the lane. You're right. Well, now it turns into you're playing the zone in, you know where your hook spot's at, you almost have a bumper to throw at. Mm -hmm. League bowling, you usually don't have that. Yeah. And it's whether you play play the hook from in or you jump far out to the right to the gutter and use it as hold. Exactly. And the transitions happen more front to back yes. on sport patterns where on house shots, they tend to break down side to side. You're you right, know, and they get they get they can get crossed up. They can get ugly. Yes, and, and again, these guys are maybe creating their own ugly. Yeah, the middles on the sport are much different than middles on the house. Oh, uh, absolutely. But one rule that usually remains the same in situations where you go on double burn, triple burn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, um, usually getting over the fronts. If um, if you oh, have trouble negotiating the fronts, that's when it gets a little tumultuous in the back. Um, so. Keys to, keys to transition and proper transition for Brzezinski. What do you see on lane 15 as opposed to lane 16? I think for him, I mean, obviously that right there, he went ball change on the right lane, which maybe that's what he's seeing, but obviously that left lane, I don't know that he necessarily had a ball change. He actually had a better look with the other ball. And so the cleaner, it looks like the cleaner cover just yeah. shot right through it. Uh -huh. So the ball change maybe should have just had it on 16 and left 15 alone uh -huh. because he, I mean, he had the stone eight and the stone nine. Like, he had some really good shots on the left lane. Indeed. So I think now you start chasing in your own head, right? Yes. Because, oh, one lane did this. I've got to do it on both. That's 99% of the time. That's wrong. Like, because every lane's different, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, so the Simo just made a big jump in and changed his hand position. But like, when it jump yep. in, I mean, he went almost two arrows in. Yeah, right. More of a pendulum release more getting yep. a forward roll yep. versus side roll. You know, and so... You know, if you if Matt's going to keep his angles in front of him, which probably most lefties do, uh -huh. it gets into okay. Well, do I have to make a parallel? Do I have to swing it more? You know, again, he's seeing the right lane break down different than the left, and now he's obviously got somebody that's sitting with him. So I don't know if that's going to help or hinder him. Uh -huh. Now is that going to cross him up even more? And the guy's like, oh, I see this. Well, maybe that's not what Matt's seeing. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be, it could be detrimental. You're right. I think. But you're right. Unless you really trust that guy. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't know. I mean. No, I agree with that. And that's when it goes from one-on-one uh, -on -one to two-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Because, honestly, um, it's really um, you and yourself. Yeah. Um, uh, you competing against yourself as well as your opponent. Right. And, and it's not to say because some people have that, you know, like the sign -out. Obviously, there's things I can say to him in certain situations that click. But then, like, there's times like him doing this deal now. He doesn't need my help. He's already got his whole checklist of his moves and adjustments he's going to make. Now, if we're in a tour environment and things are breaking down different and so-and-so's doing this and this guy's doing that, yeah. they'd be like, hey, did you watch that? What do I need to do? Mm -hmm. you know? Like, Then it turns into a multi-team strategy. Yeah. But something like this where it's just breaking down and he's like, I got to make my ball do whatever. Yeah. All right, I'll make my ball do whatever. 
Yeah, you exactly. Know? So it's like watching a chef at work. A yep. chef is good when they're cooking on the stove, but a lot of times you yep. can stand back and, and see how the they mix. Ball. And he curves it more, and again, I, I personally don't think that was the right move. I, I, I think it's back to the other ball in that lane. I, I honestly feel the same thing. Yeah. I feel um, he saw one shot that he may have not thrown well, and he may um, be making unnecessary adjustments. And one or two things can happen. You can get down on yourself knowing that you're down 0-2, yeah. or you could just say screw it and just um, go kind of like a no-tap a, a no tap mentality. I'm going to play for those strong nines in the hopes that I carry and just keep myself in play. Yeah. And so you can tell by the look on his face, my man's, uh, you saw, they feel like he's stressing a little bit. He's trying yeah. to, maybe a little bit of confusion. You yeah. Know, we'll, we'll see how it see how get shakes the out. Blocks off the shoulders. Yeah, 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 for sure. And again, like you said, he's been in, he's been in high pressure situations before, I'm yeah. sure. But again, this is just maybe, it looks per perception wise, it just feels a little bit different, right? right? Because, you know, you are, you're, you're taking a guy who does, he bowls for a living, right? Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's, and you like know, I always tell people, and you and you can attest to this, mm -hmm. there's a big difference between those who pay to do it yes. and those who get paid to do it. You know what? You, you know what? You, you, you can preach on that. Yeah. And you know, and you mentioned and another P. You mentioned perception, and perception is one's perceived reality. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, um, Matt Brzezinski is um, perceiving that he's defeated, but you know what? He has to maybe change his own angle. And I'm not talking necessarily on the lanes, but um, um, his cerebral angle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's all about the and that's mind. That's the whole deal. Yeah, it's, it's more like a be one of those deals. And hey, but once you run to the bathroom real quick, take a look at yourself in the mirror. Exactly. And some people need to do that. You know, um, windows versus mirrors. Uh, windows, you can look at everything else, but yep. mirrors, you're forced to look at yourself, and you already know what it is. Yep. When you're in a room by yourself, you can't go anywhere because everywhere you turn, there you are. And so, obviously, that was harder and straighter on the right. Yes. Leg. Now he's going to do that same thing with the other ball, or is he still going to keep trying to throw the same ball? Well, that was a screw it shot, and we all and we all been in those situations. You threw it bad. You say screw it. You just threw it, oh, and then you're like, damn. A different ball. Uh, so he's now trying an even different ball on uh, this left lane. Uh, I, I humbly not, disagree with that. It's not the one from before, though. Yeah. Unnecessary switch. Unnecessary hey switch. Yeah, in my, my opinion. My man's saying, whoa. Yep, yep, um, yeah, um, Daquan Green over here with a whoa in the background. And uh, how apropos that he has a, um, an exit wounds jersey, because right now we're going to exit this game um, a little defeated mentally. <laughs> but look at it this way. You got two more chances to make it a game. It's still that marathon, but the marathon becomes harder to win when you're letting the person sprint in front of you get too far ahead. Right. Is he using this as a test shot? Yes, yeah, and he grabbed a different ball again. I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm confused. And I've been watching bowling thirty something years. And well, this is um, well, we could say youth versus experience, but Simonson has youth and experience. Well, he well he's a really old twenty seven year old. Let's put it that way. Oh man, he's uh he spent yeah he's started hanging out at the bowling center when he was a little kid, and yeah he's. He's he's lived generations beyond his time, but yeah, you're right. The mentality and the mindset is that of a KG veteran who's been doing it, you know, feels like 25, 30 years. But yeah, yeah, he's only 27 years old. Just turned 27 years old. Exactly. And that, and that's basically what you call um, a, a true a true fighter's poise. You yep. know, um, some things can be taught, some things cannot. Some things you have to already bring to the table. You know, when um, when you look at certain movies, and certain boxing and fight movies, there's certain things you can't teach heart. Facts. You know, some things you gotta already bring to the table before you start to cook. And um, Simonson has that poise, and okay. that comes from traveling, and being well-traveled, yeah, and being yeah. well-versed in fighting in yep. these situations. Yeah, and bowling, I mean, and it's not even just, like I said, domestically, some of the events he's bowled around the globe where you're bowling people from Europe or Asia or whatever, you're bowling some of the best of the best from other countries as well. Yeah. And situations over there are totally different. Like, it's it's kind of wild. So. Yeah, competition uh, of, uh, of Olympic status. Oh, absolutely. E even though not yet. Yeah. <clears throat> not That's yet. That's a whole other story for We're not going to talk about that. We could go into that, but I don't want to cause any rifts or oh, no, no. But speaking of political bullshit. Whatever, uh, you know, we're it. just going to break dance yeah. into this. Ooh. Yeah. Anyway, my man changed the balls again. 
And catches the eight. All right. All right. He catches the eight. And you know what? Right. He got great carry on that. Yeah. And you know And hopefully that's a good look into the future on that lane. Uh, and, and and if I, like I said, I agree with um, not necessarily saying he needs to change balls. Uh, but he sees what he sees. And that's hopefully um, sees something different from Matt. Uh-oh. Wow. Can we talk about that? Yeah, he's just, it's just his hand getting the, the one spot, one of his tricks. You know, so it's a matter of how it's going to transition. And, you know, and again, as you see him, Simon stays quiet. I mean, he can trip if he, if he needs to. But oh. the, the, the mind is, is working overdrive and overtime right now. And he's already, he knows what he's doing in the left lane, but he's already, he's like, okay, right lane when I come back. That's in the back of his head going. And now the left lane is what's moving in the front of his head. It's unbelievable, man. He's, he's got a... His brain's on a different level. Well, in sure. the bird kingdom, it's, it's very different amongst different species. Yes. Um, birds that chirp are one thing. Yep. Birds that stay quiet, search, and hunt are yep. a whole other thing. Absolutely. <laughs> and let's see what yeah. his talons do on this shot. Oh, hunting, and he threw a couple pieces of wood at it, and he's shaking his head. Mm. He didn't like that. No, no, he did not he, like he that. He knows he's got to make the moves, and he's going to. Yeah, the seven, um, the seven fell a little late. Yep. And, and that may be him navigating his space in terms of his transition. I see him taking little moves in. And now certain transitions that are made um, on the right side of the ball return, if you're a righty, are a lot of times and unknowingly different because you have more space on, on a lane that has no ball to return. Because yep. you have more space, you may naturally drift inside a little more. Yep. Yeah, and, and obviously Simon's got the deal too because he is shorter in stature and like the step deal. Like, if he has to, he'll get to a spot where he'll stand in the same spot on both lanes. Yes. Because he can take shorter steps. Uh -huh. Like, he gets into where he literally takes, I call them baby steps. Like, he literally, his feet are moving, but he's only moving, like, three inches on the approach. You're right. But he's just kind of walking, doing his zeal. And so, whatever he, he sees on the left, if he gets to a spot where he's got to get that deep on the left lane, the right lane, he can do the same thing in front of the ball return. And it, Where a lot of guys don't have that. Like some guys have the, oh, I gotta get the ball into the swing. I'm only taking three steps. Yeah. Simo still finds a way to get his traditional, his comfortable steps in on both lanes when he gets to that spot. Yeah, spoken like a true professional yep. right there. Yep, yep. Exactly. And you know, um, you know, we may have been in um, different worlds. You've been more on the pro circuit. I've been more on the um, on the, the league side and more of the recreational side of yeah. things. But one thing that I always notice is that I know that if I'm on as a right handed bowler. Yeah. For me. The ball return is kind of like a leash. It keeps you more squared up. Yep. And you wonder why you miss a little outside, and that's because a lot of times you have to mentally tell yourself you have to stay a half board in more on the lane without the ball return so that way you don't flare out and, you know, um, kind of dance more in those open pastures. Exactly it. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's everybody perceives it a little bit different deal, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's all, like you were talking about earlier, perception. Like, how the field of play, how you absorb it, and you know, I, should, I shouldn't say battle it, but how you comprehend it and how you you constru constructively erect your game around it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because some players, like I said, some people are getting into the deal where, oh, the ball return in their head, mm -hmm. like they just can't, they cannot get next to it. Like they literally stop and then they'll do everything but make that jump in. You know, they'll go through nine different balls playing the wrong part of the lane yes just because they're like oh that ball return it's like it's in their heads yeah it really and does other people are like well can i stand on top of it you know uh, everybody some people want that you know it's a challenge deal right it's it almost part of the environment so and that's always been part of the deal especially when you get these the, these older uh ball returns I mean, yeah some parts of the country where yeah these things you think about it back then though there weren't reactive bowling balls and the oil had water in it and <laughs> nobody nobody got left of the second arrow you know the, whatever the the slot of the track was right exactly it was never thought of hey we should make the ball return shorter so people can stand in front of them pretty sure that was never factored in you know a hundred years and then ago you're walking on your pinky toes exactly 100 years ago that wasn't a thing all right let's see we got ourselves a ball game that's right so that now is matt Bazinski versus anthony simonson as well as lane 15. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's talking to, he's got somebody else and he's. Uh, oh, Mr. Lazarge, Mr. So Andrew Lazarge. Now we got another, we're getting more more advice. So this left lane's gotten confused. 
Yeah, and, uh, a very talented lefty in himself, Andrew Lazarczyk, yeah, yeah. Um, right. giving at best uh, advice um, to um, his New Jersey cohort over here, different teams, but same, but same, same areas. Okay. And he's maybe giving a little insight. Let's see uh, what the right. foresight is. Well, there it is. Mm. Obviously, lefties talking to lefties. That's a thing, right? Yeah, yeah lefty love out here. Yeah, there you go. And we talk about computer love over here, and with with, with that computer love, with, with, um, it breeds a lot of um, digital strikes. And you know what? When he's locked in, it's almost like Anthony Simonson has copy and paste shots. It is. It is so fun to watch. You know, when when he gets into the when those guys get to that mode, right? And like when he texted me as soon as he bowled 879 the other morning, right? Like he was ecstatic. Mm. That's his new career high. He's never bowled a set that high. Yeah, and you know, a and, shout out to him, 879, I believe. And, and I think it was, I think somebody told me all his misses were four pins. Yes. So in retrospect, it's 900. <laughs> right? <laughs> in retrospect. And, like, and you know, and he looks at it that way, but you know, with, and like I said, in the same deal, he hasn't, he doesn't get locked in, and now he's making the moves, getting around it, you know. Yeah. Getting his hands to a different spot, make the ball shape up in a different way. Hey. Still using the same ball. Hey, maybe somewhere down the line we get a chance to um, have him um, compete against one of a, 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 a UBA um, great bowler and so Christopher Showtime Williams with a Bronx, who holds uh, the house record in one of the New York houses for oh, 898. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and another humble individual just like Anthony Simonson. You know, and uh, we've been talking about that kind of stuff with Gordon and some of the, and, and Phil and the guys. Of, there's some other stuff that that would be something we could possibly figure, try and figure out schedule-wise yes. of utilizing some of our guys and yeah, something like that. Figure out a strike fest event. Who could throw more strikes, you know? Oh, good old strike derby? Uh, yeah, we could. Why not? UBA strike derby? You can hey. make it happen. Hey, that's great competition. It's great right. competition. Let's right. talk about Matt Brzezinski. Let's give respect to this. And like I said, Marathon's don't not Don't look sprints. now, but he's leading. It, it, don't, it, don't look now. <laughs> and if you're looking now, keep looking. Keep but looking. you know what? The keep light still it. shines bright. <laughs> right. All you need is a chance. Yep. Yeah. Simon helping him with the re-rack. And you know what, and, and, that's the, and that's the respect right there. Absolutely. You know, pro bowler, um, semi-pro, recreational, either way, we're all here for the love of this thing yep. that we love to, and we're pioneering things like this. Absolutely. You know, here in the UBA, uh, yep. straight down from the underground. That's it. And if you're just joining us now, you know, and if you're on a lunch break sneaking off somewhere, uh, voice of choice, Sean, that face Lunch break on Saturday? Uh, you Saturday, never know. Right? Hey, some people oh, work seven be. days a week. Yeah, yeah, you facts. Know? I get you. Hey, and you know, being joined here by Chris Schlummer. Right Roto now. Schlem in the hills. Schlummer hizzle. Slam. <laughs> yeah, I get, I got dude, all sorts of nicknames. From Roto Schlem to Schlem Diggity, Schlem Shady, uh -huh. Schlep Rock. Oh. oh maximum man. penalty. And we Just don't want to go to a good. slump. No, we don't want to, we don't know slumps. No, we do not. No slumps. Uh, might have got, uh, got a little firm and strong on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the the angle and the shape was right because that's yeah. what he did. He jumped in and circled it more. Yeah. But that one was just a because he's got the hard and straight of the right lane and yeah. that snuck in there on that shot of the left lane. Yeah. You have to almost miss this to make this. Yep. Oh. Changes. That changes things. Yeah, it definitely does. It's, uh, all, and one, they say um, one man can change the world, one frame can change the game. Um, so. A lot of times, you search for a dollar on the ground, you might step over a $100 bill. Um, he may have been searching too hard for that dollar on lane 15. But then again, um, it seems that 15 and 16 are both giving them opportunities for fatherhood. <laughs> my, my hand. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey there, look at the little baby. Oh, oh come on now. Oh. Why you keep living the baby? Oh, yeah. Let's see, what do man. we got popping here? My man gonna convert it though. Oh, uh, the backup ball. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I don't know if we ordered some Chinese <laughs> food, but we got another two-handed oh, fishing out. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Deshaun Mush Smith, give he, a little, little chirp, little yeah. chirp, chirp. And Simon gave him a <laughs> What up, Mush? <laughs> <laughs> and so we're right here. We we got. Uh, we're to a four-pin match here. Yeah. Um, Anthony Simonson being uh, slightly philanthropic there. Um, um, givers give back to givers. Uh, Brzezinski gave a chance to Simonson. Simonson said, here's your change. But let's see if this is change. Trying to give him a little zap. What's he got going on here? Well, the spirit Stand fingers uh, gave the wrong <laughs> spirit. It gave a striking spirit. Yeah, that was, that was like, oh, that was really good. 
Hey, do that again. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I might need a little something. You know, a lot of times when something don't taste right, put a little lorries on it. Yeah, there you go. And how right. apropos we're playing a little Summer Madness in the background. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hard and straight. <laughs> and and um, somebody what? channeling their, inner, their inner Kendrick Lamar, and they're being the biggest hater. <laughs> Obviously, they hate the way that he walks, the way that he talks, and maybe they hate the way that he dress. <laughs> Well, what you know what? Obviously, Brzezinski's oh. not like the others because he's over here and they're over there. Facts. <laughs> and you know what? Nothing like oh. a good old seven-pin um, oh, um, assault and battery real. over there. Uh, can we get a coroner for that for that <laughs> seven-pin that was laid out in the gutter? Right. And now we got uh, my man. Oh, oh, no. uh, <laughs> 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 my man throwing the deadwood all the way up. Yeah, good. We want, we want some of them coming flying all the way up out, out into the set seat. Yeah, very good. They say antidote, antidotes of wood is a cold shower. He killed the wood there. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. For sure. <laughs> That's it. Uh oh, don't fall down, kid. There it goes. Shout, oh. out, shout out to the staff here at Bolarama yeah, yeah. here in Newcastle, They're Delaware. On top of everything, we, we're always thankful for um, Bolarama and as well as our other sensor, Bolero Wilmington. Even though we're not here and they, you could be anywhere in the world, but you were here with us here at Battle Bowl. Um, whether you're here in attendance or here watching on whatever device you choose to watch on. And we're going to watch on here in the ninth frame, foundation frame, Matt Brzezinski. And oh. wow, the seven and the ten working, not in unison, working Ooh. on different frames. But um, let's see what happens here. And you caught another ball change and another move. I did see that. Yeah. So I actually did like that change, though. That wasn't bad. And I think it's one of those deals that he's finally starting to see the lane, the left lane, where he wanted it, where he was hoping to see it. That wait, the right Indeed. lane transition, right? Yes. All right. That ball almost took off a little bit. Yep. So now it's a matter of Simos had a tough time on his right lane all game. Mm. So does he figure out the trick to get through this game? Or, or what do we got? Well, we have an interesting situation. You know you're in the driver's seat. You're up two games to nothing. Yeah. Um, you have room to play with. But if you play with your food, sometimes your food runs away. Made and that move. ball ran right through the oil and it actually slipped uh, a little 60-foot situation. And one thing about um, all patterns, no matter what happens on the outsides, the insides have a higher probability of staying longer and being stronger. Facts. Yeah, and, and you know, the fact that neither one of them, well, I mean, Matt's obviously moved in a little bit on, on that side, but Simo, that was the first time he's jumped way in yes. and tried to not send it as far right, and obviously it shot right through it, right? Yeah. So, you know, now we still got a pressure cooker. It's still going to be who who steps up in the tent. Yeah. And if I you mean, notice. Ultimately, Matt's got the upper hand, but Simo can force him, you know, Simo can force him to double. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And, what's, and the way, even the way Simon will attack that spare, we already know when there's pins in the back, there's chances for um, deflection. And he gave no chance for deflection on that on that spare attempt. Yep. That was a successful spare attempt. Right. Tenth frame, first shot. Ten back. There you go, ten back right there. Uh, potential 216 for Anthony Simonson, potential uh, 219 for Matthew Brzezinski. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, as long as you show up, you always got a chance. That's it. I love it. We're playing some old school beats this morning. Oh, today, yeah. Right? Yeah, definitely. Will Smith. And we got, you know. We got a little Jackson. outcast, a little Come big boy. Let's see, yeah. who's, let's see who's going to be the big bo bigger boy uh -oh. on this shot. Oh, he soft with it. pitched inside, got very soft. So basically, um, Brzezinski does not need to double. He needs to mark, and he needs to get very, very good count. And going back to the sixth, we know a, a mark is not necessarily a guarantee. Yeah, nothing is guaranteed in this situation. When nope. it comes to chances, all you need is a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, segue. What up, a little bit? <laughs> not a lot, just a little bit. All I really just need is a little bit on the right shoulder and my left. A little bit. What up, a little bit? Nada. What's going on here? Oh, we just watched a little bowling. I know. 
You know, a little bit. You ain't got to have a little voice with us. You know what I'm saying? You could talk big. And like, we could talk yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Berzinski over here. Uh, um, hey, this is a big Matt, shot. Yeah. You, um, no comment? Matt must mark. Matt must strike. Matt must make it. And Matt looking like he's right. on the road to getting um, the he's two still, nothing still need, deficit he, down to two count. Count. Yo, Matt got to get this next one, bro. No, he don't. I mean, he don't, but he will. He don't, but he, he, don't, will. But he will. All right. That's Matt, but he's the one goat. Yeah, he's not the he's not the farmer goat. goat. It's not a farmer goat. It's just a goat. He's not a goat. And that's pretty quick. And it stays and on the lane. And hey, Whoa. look Set at that, back. Matt is showing one. up. It is now two one. Yes. Simo. Simo yep. up two one. Well, Matt just got his one game. So. Is that, oh, well, well, is that uh, a prediction? From, from what I hear, it says that Matt got his one game. Is, was that a spoiler alert? What well, was that? It, it could have been not a prediction, but in my Paul Heyman voice, that could be a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. And similar and, to Heyman, he must oh, hustle. Oh, yeah, that's it. Well, he got the two he needed. Yep. And that, my friends, is not a spoiler. <laughs> Well, he didn't. But reality. Well, but reality, and he didn't spoil his opportunity there. And so now it's a matter of Simon grabbed it. Simon grabbed a different ball, so we'll yes. see if that comes into play. Uh, it looks like he is changing balls. Mm -hmm. Tell you here in a second. Once I can see it. It's an Olympic sport now. Yep, my man. Yep, attention star. Went from the phase two to attention star. One of the best balls that I've never had a chance to throw in yeah, phase Simon, two. Just letting those guys know. You guys can bowl, do whatever you want to do. He's like, I don't care. It's all good. Yeah. Because the dude in the match here next to him, he's like, hey, bro, sorry. And Simon's like, dude, I don't care. Yeah, people. Just, as long as you don't, like, trip me while I'm walking to the foul line, we're good. You can walk by me. Just don't trip me. Oh, you know, people always joke about North Bowlers. I'm from New York. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they say our one lane courtesy is much different. See, everywhere else actually has real one lane courtesy. A lot of times our one lane courtesy looks like three or four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Is it is it one lane or is it like one segment? It's one, it's you know, one whole bowling alley. One, one whole, yeah, one whole, one whole building. And that was one whole strike yeah. for both individuals to start. Yeah, uh, Simonson both, made good. that that ball chase. Tell us, um, give us a little um, insight on why like, Simonson well, made that change. Here's the deal right now. So I think Matt and Simon were talking, right? Yeah. Right. How often do you guys see this in the fact of they're talking about ball reaction and motion, and, yes. and Simon's actually conversing with them and saying, hey, this is what I see. That's the conversation that's happening right now in front of us. And again, let's converse about that conversation. Yeah. See, um, when you have opportunities like this that come once in a lifetime, it's not only an opportunity to potentially beat one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world, but it's also a learning experience. And that right there was a prime example because Simon was like, hey, man, good shot, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And he's like, hey, this is what I'm seeing. And that yeah. was they started conversing about the transition that Matt's seeing, and Simon was actually talking to him about it. Yes, and we like, all know iron does sharpen iron. Right, exactly. Oh, you got a little Yankee Doodle on that one. Yeah, yeah, and that, that shot wasn't dandy. Yeah, it was uh, coming up from the top. He, My man was getting all of it. Yeah. As soon as he got to the top of the backswing, I'm like, ooh, yeah. that one's not staying all on. Yeah, and, and you know what? Um, and correct me if I'm wrong. Yep. For me, whenever I'm getting reactions or if I'm losing control, a lot of times minimizing, maximizing my chances. Minimizing the backswing gives you a lot of chance to preserve your finish and give a more solid finish. Well, in situations like that, the natural tendency I've already seen watching Matt Bowl a couple games here, the shots like that, the ones that are the pulls down from the top, he drops into the swing too fast. Uh, it's causing the a back, right? No, no. So when he instead of pushing it away and getting it to fall into the swing, he shoves it down in and pulls it up. I see. So then when he pulls it up, he holds it and then he pulls it down from the top. As so, opposed to the ones that he sets out in front of him, I see. Those are ones where his swings stay long and nice and smooth. More but of a his, his natural misses on those those ones he's yanking in, he gets them into the swing too fast. He so, shoves it down and pulls it up. So more of a snatch and grab. Yep, exactly. Okay. Right and obviously Simon makes the ball change and obviously yeah. it gets through there a little bit better. You know, even though it's an, a bigger ball by by definition, you know, it's asymmetric in the fact of it's an asymmetric ball, mm. but it's got a pearlized cover, but there's no nano atoms in it, right? Mm. 
in a phase two, obviously it's symmetrical, low RG, high diff, but it's got nano, it's a stronger cover. Mm. So Simon, even though it, and that, that attention star has got service on it, it still gets through that spot in the front that Simon was starting to battle with the phase two. I see. So even though it's technically it's a ball up, it floats through there because the cover is cleaner. Mm. And then it lets him manipulate it and do the tricks with his hand like he likes to yes. see. So, and obviously turkey mm -hmm. as opposed to fighting you know that phase two just got a little you know he's trying to he actually was feeling like he had to manufacture it too much uh, to make it do what he needed it to do yeah and and, and give us a little um insight into um why um uh storm um is so beneficial um for for his reaction versus other ball brands you know, it's one of those deals of, as he's a kid coming up, it was one of those deals that he started throwing our stuff when he was, you know, when he first kind of busted on the scene through youth bowling, like when he was, you know, 12, 13 years old, right? And it's always just kind of navigated the storm stuff because our products, our cover socks tend to be cleaner through the front part of the lane mm. and provide more shape down lane. Oh, see. Which, as he started to learn, as we were talking about it the other night even, the two-handed deal, because yeah, when he was a kid starting to bowl, he used his thumb. He wasn't always a two-handed bowler. And, you know, obviously Matt catching a double. Yeah, and both uh, the shots, you see the difference. Shot. Both of them he pushed out, let him fall in the swing. Yes. And he didn't yip them from the top. They just the swing was there, makes him get you get throw it harder yep. as long as he doesn't yank it from the top. Yeah, it's almost like his ears grew when he heard what you said about exactly. that. Exactly. Right? But yeah, for Simo, so it's always been that deal of knowing that he had the different tools and the options, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, as it kind of morphed into Dell Ballard and plenty of guys out in Texas are like, hey. Shout out to Dell Ballard. Shout out to Baldo. We need to, you know, like, hey, we need to get this kid on staff. We're like, all right. And he's just kind of grown up, you know. He's been with us for almost, I think, 10 years now. Mm. You know, he's 27. I think he was 17, 18 mm -hmm. when he was, you know, he's already going out on tour. And, yeah, he's been a part of the family that long now. So. Indeed. So. Yeah, thank you. You know, sh yeah, shout, sure. you know, shout out to, you know, all of you coming here. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Uh, to, to the entire um, Storm staff that's no, watching. No, it's been, a, you know, and what, Gary and I, you know, we've been a part of this deal for, I, I forgot what we talked about. I think we've been close to seven, eight years now, UBA. And, you know, it's a deal of we've been a part of this growth as well. And we, we you know, this is bowling, man. Like, this is Saturday afternoon. We've got 70 lanes going. Yeah. I mean, we got... We got all the matches, you know, right next door. We got a title match, and we've got what the these are the eight man uncapped yes, teams. Yes, we do. I'm like, you know, this is cool stuff. This is what bowling is about. Yeah, man. Competing from New York and all the all way to, these, to VA. Yeah, and, and, and all Georgia. These people in here in the bowling center. Texas. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so that's the next growth spot. Yeah. The Texas deal. Indeed. You know, we were supposed to have one this time in Texas. Things didn't quite line up, but you know, let's be one of those deals. Hey, you uh, know, we were actually going to have Wes Malott go down there, right? Yeah, Big Nasty. Big Nasty was going to Texas to be part of the UBA Texas. Mr. Four Roller himself. You know, things things didn't work out, and but you know, hey, we'll get the Texas thing going. We'll, we'll be bouncing around more. We'll be doing more stuff, and you know, I've been to Mega Bowl before, so yeah, we got some stuff cooking. Yeah, this right here. Again, we got ourselves a pressure cooker right here in front of us. Yeah. Um, you, yeah, you, and like I said, when you step in the ring, you cannot never count any, anybody out. You know, uh, the, the name Buster Douglas comes to, comes to mind. Facts, yeah. Uh, if you were man, a betting show, man against... You're showing your age if right you were, if, if, yeah, if, for, I damn sure Hey, all you kids out there, uh, yeah, go, 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 go to the Google machine. Yes, go to the, that, that, little, <laughs> that little Google thing on your phone. No matter what phone device you yeah, use, yeah, yeah. not going to say no brands. Yep. Yeah. You know, but um, look up that name Buster Douglas and, uh -oh. and, and ask Tyson uh, uh, about Buster Douglas yeah. in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shocked the world. Hey, they and thought right there was a good pitch. Yeah, they thought he was a buster. Yeah. But he busted him up. That's it. And um, he busted up the pocket, unfortunately, leaving a um, a defiant seven, seven pin. Yeah. We, li we like pins to be followers. We don't like when single pins are leaders. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, fo uh, exactly. follow everybody. All, yeah. fall, all fall on one yeah. accord. We all going down? All right, sweet. Let's all go down. Ashes, ashes. <laughs> That's it. That's it. All right. We got a little noise going here to the title. Oh. We got holding on the offense. Oh yeah, um, and, and if you yeah, and if you are watching the uh -oh. other one, oh, uh -oh. oh, oh man, and that, that right there was exactly what I told you about a strike ball. Yeah, that's exactly what he did on that trail shot. Yeah, most tug jobs are, 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 are welcome on Saturdays, but that one wasn't. <laughs> oh, you like a happy ending? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that one slipped. And Simon getting his hands around that one a little bit more, and got it. Yes, the and right we, spot. Yeah, and that, that was a hunter's look right there. Yep. You smell blood in the water, you often see fins swimming towards your direction. That's it. 
And don't look now, but we're back to a tight ball game. Oh, very good. Extremely tight. Um, we're going to see uh, how tight this game remains. It's going to be tight as a Boy Scouts knot. We're going to see. Went wide, came back, tripping out the 7 and the 10. Watching them fly. Yes. So no, right we're now, watching you too, NWA. And, we and got you, dog. Now, now we're we watching. watching you. And, and, and you we know watching. what? Shout out to those watching in the center. Shout out to those watching at home. Yeah. And and we're watching every shot. And we're watching every single um, bit of pin pin reaction and pin action. And I'm noticing different things happening on the left and the right. Um, it may be different for both of them. It's different on the right as it is for the left. And it's different on the left as it is for the right for both individuals. They're getting different things, mm -hmm. and they may be seeing different things. And it'll play a big factor when it comes down the stretch to the 10th frame, in my Absolutely. opinion. Yeah, yeah. And now I think it's both both guys seemingly, you know, last game was, you know, obviously we we're, what, 2-10 two to 2-0. Two and now these guys are pacing well above that with some ball changes. And now it's just going to be a matter of, as they settle back in through the transition, who's going to put up the most strengths, you know? And that right there is pretty decent. 10 back. Yeah, we call that a steering contest. It's all yep. about who's going to get a little dust in yep. the eye and who's going to blink. Yep. And um, we saw one blink from Brzezinski, but all it takes is for uh, a blink in the right spot for Brzezinski to have the opportunity to tie it up. Yep. You know, uh, we know Simo's resume. Um, not to say that Brzezinski doesn't have a resume himself, but it's a different pay grade when you're on this level, but you have an opportunity to show and prove. And the that messenger. 10 pin shows and proved that it's always a the chance. The messenger in front of the 10, and it came back spinning. Right? Exactly. And you know, when you drive through the woods, your, your um, reception different. Message was not received for the 10 pin on that moment. Exactly. The message not received. Yeah, still, what still all dots. What we have here seems to be the failure to communicate. Yes, we do. And, and converts to spare. Yeah, so. not, not too often you'll see a miss spare from, from, a, from a pro. Well, every once in a while they get in a putt. Every once in a I while. Mean, obviously, like anybody, like a, a golfer gets in a yips and all of a sudden get knocking a putt. But you know, I've seen pro bowlers go through the, the you get through a weird funk and all of a sudden it's like you're just missing spares. Mm. You know, and you, it, it happens even to the best of them. But well, he has to weather, he rebound has to here. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good shot. Well, when you rock that logo with the lightning bolt, you have to weather that namesake. You have to yeah, weather yeah, the yeah. storm. Yep, for sure. And obviously, he's you know he's a star. So, um, you know, we've got stars and we got bolts, and you know we we've got the uh, we've been known to be the uh, the alternative brand, right? <laughs> We're a little bit more edgy, a little bit more different. Uh huh. And Simon fits that mold, fits that bill, and you know my man uh, has his moments. Um, you know, not all great, but. Hey, as long as he's here having fun, and yeah, now he's looking at, he's in a hole. Yeah, you know, we talked yeah, we talk about lightning bolts. Yeah. Can lightning strike twice? I mean, anything's possible. As a hustle is over the crowd it's, here. It's, I was going to say, is my man step up and put the double on him? I don't know. I don't know, man. Everybody's kind of holding their breath a little bit. Yeah, we got people back here watching behind us, and they're like, uh, you're right. They got a little quiet. They're like, this is a chance to get it, but... Let's see if it's astronomical or if it's asthmatic. Oh. Oh. Now, not over. He, he has, he exactly, uh, he has to not do what he did on the uh, sixth frame. And he cannot be patriotic with this. He cannot flag it. The, the proverbial door has opened. He does not need a spare ball to pass go. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you remember the last one in the sixth frame. Yeah. Is that creeping in his head? My man, is he going to get the same deal? And uh, this time he... All right. All right, all yeah, over there. Like He's and, like, uh, double fist pump, yeah! Yeah, yeah, you know, and, uh, and, and, if you have, and if you watch movies, it looked like he definitely was waiting to exhale on that seven feet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that is it. That is it. Obviously, the, it, it still forces Simon to throw the first one, you know? It absolutely does. Potential uh, to... I want to say 245 finish for Anthony Simonson. Yeah. Uh, 226 potentially, uh, provided that a strike is thrown by Mr. Brzezinski mm -hmm. representing the Arsenal. That looks like it's going to be nine or better. And oh. my, and you know what? I must have had something in my eye. I was to say. But yeah, he got fast on that the, one. I think the, the camera got in your way or something. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know what? He, and he got in his own way in that one. He pushed that one really fast. Yep. And 
So now he doesn't even. Yeah, he doesn't even have to strike on the shot now. That changed the game. That yeah, definitely does change the game. But he does just to make sure. Yep. And Matt down there shaking his head like he knew that he basically gifted him. <laughs> I mean, counts are still big here too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And road to 245, and that's going to lock up definitely um, game number four. four. Yeah, so it's now 3 1. 3 1. But um, Matt showing up. Um, he is not laying down. You no, know, no, no, no. Channeling is in the Shawn Michaels. I don't think he's laying down for nobody. No, let's go. Yeah, I don't think. I don't. I don't lay down for nobody. Yeah. Are you a wrestling fan, Although, sir? Yo, I absolutely love it. My man, look at the bell of his hat. Look how wet his hat, his hat is. My oh. man's dripping up there. Oh, uh, you know. Hey. My man's got the drip working. Saturday, sweating on a Saturday. Uh oh, we gonna know the ball change. Uh oh, we going to the well. Going to the well once again. A little pep talk right over here by Mr. Matt, uh, by Mr. Mush right here. Represent Murder Inc. Uh, could that be a kiss of death or a kiss of life? Nah. Could it be Shaw Day? That's, that's kiss of brotherhood right <laughs> could there. That's could, what that is. Could, could, could it be a little Shaw Day action? Could he have given the kiss of life to Brzezinski? Yeah. And could he have given the kiss of death? Or the kiss of uh, momentary, um, momentary freeze? Yeah. To uh, Simonson over there. Uh, we'll see. My man's making another ball change, so we'll see what what little trick he's out of his sleeve again. There you go. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, a lot of times we have that 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 one that one that one girl in our bag that through thick and thin they always come through our bottom piece, if you will. Yeah. The, could the that have been um, Brzezinski's bottom security piece? Security blanket. Yeah. Yes. That could be his binky. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We need my binky. Simo up, lane 16. And, and similar to um, the last the last game, it's looking like um, they're going to start off duking it out. It's all about who, whose legs um, will not falter towards um, down the stretch. Correct. But now the question is going to be, what's, what's Matt going to do on the right lane, you know? Uh, he did change the ball to the left lane, but does he make that same change on the right? Or, you know, what do, what do we got cooking? Oh, a little love nudge on the 10. Yeah, you know, and he's been Not getting a, a, lot of, a, love nudge. a little love nudge. You know, he's been he's been getting a lot of love on lane 15. He's been um, lacing the shots on 16. But yeah, again, yeah. as a right handed bowler, when you have that open space, you have a tendency to um, skate more in the oil and get right. those late falls. And sometimes those late falls later down the stretch could come back to bite you oh, because absolutely. you don't yeah, get yeah. the same reaction. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's all stuff Simon's watching, but you know, he's just. Yeah, he's having fun. You know, he's he's playing into it. Uh-oh. Ah, he knew it once he let it go. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, tough sledding right now. Tough sledding. Now, right here we have um, a Nintendo 64, uh, the, the four and the six. So first, let's see if we make a bounce a little bit. And uh, yeah, not real high probability on that one right there. Yeah, I didn't like your chances on that. I didn't like your chances on that one. No. I, I've had it made against me before. <laughs> no way. Yes. For real? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it was it, it was slid behind the other one. Whew. All right. I don't know. I think one goat's uh we're, we're back into a regroup and uh trying to get it dialed in here. I, honestly, and this is bold to say, I think one goat needs to just go with one ball and say screw it. Might, not, might be the better play you, to help kind of get. What do you have to lose? Right. I mean, just to, I mean, knowing that both lanes are broke down a little bit different, but he's got in the, somewhat the same zone, but I think he, he crossed himself up 
yeah. trying to play hard and straight on one lane yeah. and trying to loop it there for a while in the left lane. You know, and I don't know. I think I think he created it. Like I said, he created his own chaos, and now he's yeah. trying to, you know, kind of lasso it and bring it all back together. Yeah. He's, he's talking to himself now, too. Yeah, he, has, he might have Whew. to um, listen to some Migos and pipe it yeah, up. Yeah, he might have to listen to one of the other voices in his head. Uh, yep. That, honestly, that's the best look he has, and he needs yeah, to stay there. Yeah, yeah. Because Simon has given him the, opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Manipulate and strike it. I look at it like this, and when you're an underdog, you have to look at it like this, in my opinion. I don't have to beat Anthony Simonson. More than likely, Simonson has to beat me. You know, his resume, far vast. Exactly. More yeah, well yeah. traveled. Right. Um, the pressure, reverse the pressure. Take the pressure off yourself. I just have to be here. Uh -oh. He's the one that has to win. But when you feel like you have to win, you put unnecessary pressure on yourself. Right, right, right. Yeah, and it's, and it's not, I mean, and even Simo, it's, you know, he asked me he, he, earlier, he goes, hey, what do I have to do? I go, you just have to bowl. Honestly. And, it, and that's how it works, right? You know, because we've had, we've had players uh, lose the contract matches. We had them win. It doesn't. It's irrelevant, right? You're yeah. here to bowl. You're here to be part of the whole deal, and that's all he's doing, man. He's yeah. just, he's, you know, obviously he's figured out what he needs his ball to do. Yeah. And unfortunately, Matt just got kind of got caught in his own, you know, between himself and then the other people who are trying to help him. And notice those people didn't last around very long. Once yeah. he missed a couple shots, all those guys bailed on him. So it makes it tough. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm gonna pop in to help you for two shots and then leave, and then another guy <laughs> pops in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I don't you, know. And you, you know, the way, oh, there you go. Well, he got the five out. Well, he got the five out. <laughs> and, and that's, again, what I was um, mentioning, having a, a forecasting for things happening on lane 15. Now, honestly, that was the shot that didn't deserve the 7 10, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, this side of the house can be a little funky in Bolivar. Yeah, but can he pick it? I don't know. It could happen. But, but you know, there's um, three R's. That's rest. I'm sorry, that's rinse, repeat, and there's also respect. Um, Simonson respects the fight that Brzezinski's putting up. And Brzezinski has to also respect himself and just give himself a fighter's chance and honestly say screw it and just start swinging a little Zangief with the turbo controller. Hold that turbo down and just start spinning it's, uh, with your heart's desire. Um, you have nothing to lose. Put the sprinklers on, water the grass, see if you can make something grow. Exactly. You know, and, 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 and probably say what we talk about too, about the, the family deal, listen to that. So the folks rooting on Matt are now asking Simo questions, and he's talking about ball motion and how he played them and what he's trying to do. I mean, they're watching Matt, but then they're also wanting to talk to Simo and like, yeah. hey, what, what's your ball doing right there? Da, 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 da. And he's like, look at him. He's, he's explaining to him right now. And they're like all in trance like, oh, wow, okay. I mean, that's yeah. just this part of it, right? This is part of the, the, this UBA family. It's part of, part of what we do. And yeah, that's why we enjoy being here, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, um, that's to say, if, if you were in the 90s and early 2000s and you killed um, basketball leagues around your regions and you get a chance to chop it up with Jordan. Yep. You know? Exactly it. Better shot. But Oh, catches, catches but, the crossover. I, he does catch that. But if you notice, he's drifting in yeah, the direction in which now, he's rolling. Right, he's dropping he's, his shoulder. It's not being thrown with confidence. Right. Well, he looks, uh, I, I mean, I've watched enough bowling. My man looks confused as all he, get out. He's looking to and it'd be, and it'd be one of those deals that we get done here, and it could be one of those things that Simon and I could actually talk to him and say, okay, we're going to ball rep you for two more games, and you're probably going to shoot 250, 260 each game. Yeah. But you're going to have to do this on this lane, this on this lane. You know, but again, it's all part of learning the game. He knows what he can and can't do, but he's still got some stuff to learn. I mean, yeah, you know, why you know, why does my ball do this? Why does my ball do that? You know, you know, and then my thing, like I said early on, when I noticed the physical thing, that's been his, that's been his deterrent, his detriment this entire match. Uh -huh. His push away and where it gets into the swing has dictated all the misses and the stuff going on. So yeah. you know, he cleans those couple things up. I mean, yeah. my man's. The, the the future's bright. There's there's a lot of talent in there. Just got to get get it dialed in a little bit tighter, right? Yeah. And, and right there, since he already knows he he moved inside, it yeah, looked yeah. like he kind of softened up and he kind of de um, delayed his backswing for a softer finish yeah. and a smoother finish through the there's oil Simo on that here shot. Talking to Howdy Doody, 
uh, of the, the big pink cowboy or whatever that is. Oh, man, there he is. Um, <laughs> Hall of Famer Douglas Heron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, also a uh, representative of the Arsenal, here to cheer on um, his guy, his one goat on his farm. Yep. And his let's see if he can on get one farm. more strike. No, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he's yeah. not following through with his shots. Yeah. It's almost like he's kind of hoping the game is over is, is he at this point. Out? Is that a tap out? I, and I want to say he's or still reaching. Or is it a sleeper hold? Well, is, it, is he just fading? Well, he's, fade? well he's in a submission hold, but right. he's not tapping out. All right. Um, he may be reaching for the ropes for a chance. All right. Get the, get the foot up on the leg. Get the foot up on the bottom rope. Yeah, you know. Now, provided that Brzezinski does go sheet here, you give yourself a puncher's chance. And if you can hang around, um, a lot of times what they say, the side of your own blood can do things. Yep. It can either make you panic or it can make you pass out. Yeah. Right now, so, it mean, seems it, he's passing out of the side of his I own blood. I mean, I mean, it might be the deal. He might, might be going, nobody makes me believe my own blood. Like, maybe <laughs> maybe I'm going to attack. Well, if you could dodge a rest, you could dodge a ball. Yeah. <laughs> and that right there. What a bad pitch. It's not a bad what pitch. What a bad pitch. Brzezinski's a he's, great bowler. Yeah, yeah. I've been on the lanes with him. Yeah, yeah. He, he's great at what he does. He does what he does when he does it. And at the same time, still being young. Um, like, again, he has an opportunity to rub elbows with the great on the court. You know, RIP Kobe. When Kobe got the first opportunity to play with James Jordan, it was a learning experience. Yep. Uh, this is a learning experience for him. Oh, and wait hell. a minute. And we got a, um, a self-high five. And we have what we call a, um, a hold-up situation. And not so fast. And like I said, as long as you're in the ring, you have a chance. But then again, this might be a conversion here. And that is. <laughs> He's been here before. You see, you leave it enough, you, you, you get pretty good at picking it. Well, you know, you know, you never drop off something you can't pick up. In fact. You drop a while to make sure it's not too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, adding a little suspense, a little back at the crowd, like, yep, you know, I gave you something to watch. Get yeah, your popcorn. And, yeah, and this, I mean, uh, this is nothing more than just Simon getting relaxed a days ago because now he's talking to himself. He's like, I got to get my hand in the right spot. You know, me see him. He's just, not that, he, not that he checked out, but, you know, he's going through the motions. and He is going through the motions, but um, he, um, from motions to mathematics. Yeah. Brzezinski right now. 226 finish versus a 236. 236 finish. Yeah, but it's within a hit, right? It's within a hit. And uh, I think he's starting to leave that snooze button alone, and he realized he has to wake up because he's going to have to drive for some traffic. This is, the, this is a, he's in a submission hold, but yep. maybe, maybe, oh, yeah. maybe, his, maybe his, the hand. His arm didn't jump on three. Maybe his hand's starting to shake a little bit. There's a little life in there. There's a little life in there. Let's see if he's going to get a finger wag. Uh oh. Let's see if he's going to get a big boot and a leg drop. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Let's see when it comes stretching down and it hurts inside. Oh. He got oh. that one on the drive way oh. too quick. Well, the one well, one go hit the one board. Um, and, and she bounced. And, and she bounced. Whew. I'm like, as soon as it started taking out, I'm like, oh, that one's going to stay on to touch a head pin. Yeah. Because she was chugging fast. Oh, yeah. Hold on there, she blows. Yep. Now, but again, we still got frames. We, we still yet. have frames. It is never over until they turn the lights off on the lanes. But hopefully, um, to quote another um, UBA franchise, hopefully it will not be lights out for Matt Brzezinski. Oh, uh, that's got to hurry. And, and we made, and we watched Simon make that on the right side. Whenever that spins in the back, they're never um, fully easy conversions. No, the 36910 is the most missed spare on tour. Yes. They're, for, they're for a number of years, the 2810 and 24810 were picked more than the 36910. And there you go. Oh! Tomahawk messes you across. And, and it is Olympic season, and that was a very gymnastic, um, gymnastic uh, head pin that kicked out the 10. Bobby Sir here. They're good. Yeah, messenger, the, the atomic messenger dancing across there. Oh, yeah. 
Simo's gonna attempt to lock this one out. And I believe we got a little um, padlock on yeah. game five. Yeah. And a show of respect, Absolutely. as it should be. Brzezinski yeah. came here for it. Um, he did not get swept, and nor did I expect him to. Yeah. I know Brzezinski would have liked to win more than one. But nevertheless, I'm sure he definitely enjoyed this experience. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and again, it's one of those deals of he earned his way here. It wasn't like we just picked some random guy out of the crowd at Battle Bowl here and said, there you go, Simon, I'll give you the backup ball. And still almost struck, right? But, yep. but it's a deal of, you know, Matt earned his way here. So he did. you got to give the man props for that. And he put up a good match. And again, Simon talking to him. They're obviously, yeah, got the other guy stripping, but. It's going to be one of those deals now that Simon will give him the respect and Simon will openly help him. Yes. If Matt comes up and like, hey, man, can I ask you some questions? Simon will be like, yeah, dude, what you want to know? Like, Simon will help him with that kind of stuff. You know, and that's the deal of, that's just the way Simon is. When he bowls with somebody in that type of deal, yep. you know, like these guys, you know, like I said, he's talking to these other folks here in front of him. You know, Matt's already asked us some stuff. He'll exactly. be like, yo, dog, yeah. I remember that one time we bowled? Yeah. Uh, exactly. You know, and that'll be something that they just carry through the rest of the time, right? Yeah, you plant seeds for learning. Absolutely. Learning seeds, you can yeah, grow yeah. a tree and extend some olive branches. That's a good shot. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, olive those branches. are the screw-it shots. Yep, yep. You and we all know the screw-it shots end up being the best. You don't think about it. Yeah. Everything falls, does what it's supposed to do. <laughs> You know, um, Chris, Mr. Schlummer, it was an absolute it, honor and privilege for this opportunity for me to call a oh, match. Oh, man, this is, I, I'll tell you what, I, and look at that, that's another great shot. Yeah. And he went farther right, and look, look at him. He's like, I can get in and circle it. Like, this is all stuff he could do, but, yeah. you know, it's just, you know, it's like you said, well, this is the, oh, hey, not thinking about it, not trying. Yeah. And he threw two totally different parts of the lane and threw them both really good. Yeah. And he would have did that through the whole time? Yeah. Oh, fuck. We would still be, we got a couple more games yet. Yeah, right? look at look this. Look at that. Even deeper. I'm telling you, right? Exactly. The screw it shots are always the best <laughs> shots of a match. And, look at him. And, 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 and right there, shots like that could lead to any kind of future so, relationship. And so, Gary. And, you know, Gary's down there talking to him, and yeah. you know, hey, good bowl and this and that. And yeah, we'll figure out something. I'm sure we'll take care of him, and you know, I'm sure we'll get him a couple balls or whatever he wants, unless he's a radical guy or whatever he's got going. But yeah. you know, it's one of those deals. That's how we do things, right? Indeed. So, you know, now, it's been an honor and a privilege, Mr. Absolutely, Schumer. Man. I appreciate you know, it. And in signing off, this is the voice of choice, Sean Knight Payson. I was joined here by Chris Schumer here, UBA all day. Battle Bowl 2024, and don't forget, we will have the championship, UBA oh, Wilder yeah. Cup of yes. Strictly Business Cartel versus Choo Choo Train Wreck. Get your bets in, betting windows open, and we will be joining you later. But for now, this has been Sean Knight, this is Slummer, yep. UBA All Day, Battle Bowl 2024. Down the road. <laughs>